last year was the first time we took the outdoor dining um, into the street. And so we have these concrete barriers. And what can we do with them? It seems like a blank slate. I'm going to take everybody in West Hartford to the beach, painting the uh, waves and beach with lots of different birds across, um, oyster catchers, sandpipers, sanderlings, plovers, um, an oyster catcher. Um, so it'll be fun for the little kids to see also. I, I like it because I think the white barriers look kind of ugly and I think it will spice up the town. Instead of looking at a white barrier, it's so nice to see just art in general and public art in general so you get a sense of, you know, the artists that live in the community too. So I have my crew down here working and we're doing an agave plant pattern um, in front of Zahara which is, you know, fitting for the summer. I'm going through um, freehanding everything and then they're following me with the paint by numbers uh, plan that we have. So it brings the town of West Hartford a little bit closer together in my eyes. It's gorgeous. It looks like a lot of community members have come out to paint today too, which is great. And it's really just um, to make these barriers more bearable. We've got volunteers, friends, neighbors, everybody coming down to Blueback Square, West Hartford Center to kind of work on it as a group, as a community. And so to have community art literally painted by community is really special. We all come from different backgrounds, so we don't get to do stuff like this every day. So it's a really great way to spend a Sunday morning. I've been involved in National Art Honor Society. So we've been doing like community service um, with art. And it's my, my senior year, so I want to do something before I go off to college. So it's nice to see like, oh, a student painted this or an artist did this just for the community. Now we're all sort of coming out of uh, the quarantine. And the cicadas are also emerging at the same time. And so I, I have some cicadas coming out to hopefully inspire everybody that's also emerging. I think that art should be seen and, and shared by everyone. Um, I'm an art teacher as well, and I really believe that art is something that uh, we, we are inherently capable of doing and that we are creative in our cores and we only, get, we only talk ourselves out of it as time goes by. I've been taking classes at West Hartford Art Lake and we had the chance to do some public art outside, so we're having fun. I live right near the center and I think it's gorgeous. I think it really is, makes the space very welcoming and I think it says come and visit us and it's just nice not to have barriers. And I love to look at the different designs, it's pretty cool. I am here painting a little quote and some flowers uh, to brighten up the front of Max's. It really personally connects me to the community because I get to put something out there that people see daily, which is exciting for me, you know. The quote has come together, so I hope that they feel some sort of sense of coming together after what we've been through in the past year and a half. Um, and just a little bit of joy, some springtime happiness. I, I really do hope that it makes people pause and think about the artist, think about what that, what that artist was, uh, was messaging as they were painting that, that project. It's looking pretty good so far and I'm excited to see what it's going to look like at the end. My concept is kind of West Hartford. It's like you can, you're like so close to the city and there's a lot of nature elements and you can easily go from one to the other. Now everyone's ready to get out and you know artists have not had opportunities to have their art seen so it's a really cool way to like bring the public out looking at art again and get artists involved in the community again. They made it like super easy on the artists and it's been a pretty straightforward process which is really great considering it's my first large-scale painting project so I feel grateful. I think we got a couple lines of paint down before one woman stopped her car on the side and thanks us for making the streets look pretty. The design that we've got going on has a lot of like cultural uh, elements for West Hartford. We got the roses for Elizabeth Park. Uh, we have the uh, beers cheersing for like the drink and food culture. Then like some kids and a dog running, just for the you know nod to the people who come to the area. There's a lot of uh, art culture in West Hartford and a lot going on with the Art League. A good way to kind of 
int introduce myself to the community with my artwork. And then we came to look at all the murals. We also have an appointment to paint a heart with a $10 donation that goes to the food pantry. So we're each doing one. It's great to have people in our community doing this and feeling a part of it. So it's pretty exciting. Everyone's really, really happy and smiling here. Yeah, it was a pleasant surprise when we came up this morning just to grab breakfast and to see all the art happening. Yeah. I'm doing farm fields and wine and cheese. I think I'd just like to know that I was part of it. I mean, it's great to have a vision and to be able to see it. That's, as an artist, that's what you want. And we're really excited for the barrier art because we think it gives a great example of beautifying the West Hartford area that our restaurants have worked so hard to create a safe space for folks. Just really, really impressed with the uh, the time and the efforts that the town has put in. Over the last couple of years, the uh, the patio um, has become a thing, you know. The, the artwork really, really brightens up the center. We have guests that come in from New London, from Fairfield, from Massachusetts, and are just wowed by uh, the town of West Hartford. I was with some people last night and they said, I feel like I'm on vacation when I, when I walk around. West Hartford Center and Blueback Square. Just look at how many people are out and about and it's so lively. There's so much going on. I loved it last year when they allowed restaurants to be able to close off part of the street and come out and sit outside because of COVID. And I think it just, it just beautifies West Hartford even more. To literally paint the town as we're here in West Hartford Center, there's something magical about it. And I've taken a few classes at the Art League and one of my instructors suggested that I submit some designs so I did and here I am painting. It's the first time I've done this before. I just I think it's really fun to participate in this and more people can see it than if you have something in the gallery. It's gonna make me feel like I accomplished something because like I'm not sitting in my room doing nothing. It makes me happy because it makes me feel like I'm a part of something as artists. I'm technically an illustrator designer, but a lot of the stuff I do is for the public. So I actually specialize in beer can design. Um, so I work with a lot of local breweries. I do a lot of murals and installations. I've done a lot of outdoor work. I've done oil cans. I've done restaurants, uh, private home panels. Uh, I paint on almost any surface that I can find. So I've done cows. I've done dog day, dogs for dog days in New Hartford. So this was a, a new surface, and I thought it'd be fun to be right in my hometown. I grew up in West Hartford. Um, I went all the way through University of Hartford. I like to have um, some kind of uh, connection to the imagery in a very personal way. The plants are actually house plants that I bought during quarantine. A lot of my art will live on the internet, as a lot of art does these days. This lives and breathes in the real world. There we had the barriers last year and yeah they were just plain so it's nice to have them beautiful this year and it's great to bring art to everybody. It's a wonderful activity look at all these artists out here we had uh, quite a hard time choosing there are quite a few entries very good entries. So this is my first experience really with the West Hartford Art League and with the town and they have they have it together it's very exciting to see them uh, bring all these artists out. Well, I think the Art League has been very proactive all the years that I've been connected with it in teaching and getting art out into the community. Um, and we've had pop-ups in town with selling artists' work in windows of stores. Um, and this is just another wonderful way to bring art to the community. And I'm so happy that they decided to do this. That looks very nice and, and cool to walk around and the town looks beautiful. Think about supporting art, local art. Our Art League actually was the funder of that project uh, uh, with help from Sustainable CT. Uh, and we're grateful for the work that they do to make our community a more beautiful place.